Hi, my name is John Flynn. This is Copley Advertising, and today we're going to talk about Super Bowl commercials. Number one, Budweiser. Budweiser, one of the most prolific Super Bowl advertisers in history. What do they got going this year? It's canned water. <laughs> no, really, it's canned water. And what it is, is for uh, disaster relief victims. So it's a really cool commercial because, you know, this guy wakes up in the middle of the night, gets a phone call, honey, I have to go and make canned water. So he goes out and they make canned water. No Clydesdales. And they put it on the truck and they send it, you know, got a little thing at the end going, Florida, Texas, Puerto Rico, da, 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 da. Why? Why is Budweiser doing such a commercial? Why? It doesn't seem like the, I mean, really, you think of Budweiser, you gotta have the Clydesdales, you gotta have, you know, you gotta have the American flag, you gotta have all this stuff. Why? Well, <laughs> there's a lot of younger drinkers now drinking craft beer. Budweiser's stock is down. Falling out of the top three Budweiser's of beer manufacturers in the United States and they're a little bit of a trouble. I mean, they're still a billion dollar company, so let's not feel too bad, but they're in a little bit of trouble. So what do you do? Something very smart. You go down to the demographic and what do younger people want? They want social consciousness, right? They want to drink something that's social consciousness. Craft beer, well, craft beer is good because somebody makes this craft beer locally and it's good. Yes, you're helping James, the craft beer guy. Of course, if you really read the label, you're helping Miller beer, but that's neither here nor there. So uh, social consciousness that Budweiser is a good company and actually, sh this is great, this is great because they shut down the plant. They actually stop beer consumption and rev reset it. He hits actually a reset button and then they start canning water. <laughs> sure, that's exactly how it went. But anyway, love it. I think it's, it's definitely a little bit out of the trend. But I think it's great. And they got like three spots for the Super Bowl and then you know they're gonna pound it all over the world after that. And it makes Budweiser the social consciousness company. They're the, the Budweiser's worried about a relief disaster and they're gonna take it on to help people. They're gonna give them water. They're gonna give them water in a Budweiser can. How cool is that, huh? For branding. You know, you're walking around in a disaster relief area and you're <laughs> Budweiser can with water in it. So, I mean, it's not the cleanest, <laughs> not the cleanest, but, um, you know, I mean, Disney is the, I mean, if you want synergy, you just call Disney on the phone or just follow whatever they did because they're geniuses. But anyway, so uh, I, I do like it. I think it appeals to a different demographic. It shows long-term thinking, long-term thinking because I get a small bump in sales right now, but down the road, they keep on this path. They're going to have a whole new group of beer drinkers, and we all know beer drinkers are brand driven. Once a beer drinker finds his brand of beer, they drink that brand for the rest of their lives. I mean, really, it's a very strong, very strong, very strong relationship. Budweiser and water make a good mix. John Flynn, Copley Advertising, one month. One month of mobile marketing and I'll fix it.